Have you ever had a problem with clients that don't respect you, but then you see that they are very respectful towards other photographers or other people in general? Are you not paid the amount that you want, but others are? Do you feel that your professionality is not taken seriously? Leave a like and subscribe because I'm about to tell you the seven reasons why your clients don't respect you and the seven solutions to that. Plus some bonus tip at the end. Let's go. Reason number one, you don't have a solid portfolio that speaks for you. At the beginning of my journey, sometimes it happened that I had meetings with clients that asked me, can you shoot this in this way? And despite of me knowing that I could, because in my portfolio I had things that were way more complicated than this, I had nothing specific to show them and I had to try to convince them with words that I could provide a visual result. It's like trying to make someone smell something to convince them that you can play a musical instrument. A photographer without a proper portfolio is not taken seriously and is not paid seriously. The solution, this is one of the few cases in which that uh, fake it till you make it uh, stupid quote actually makes sense. Have a portfolio that covers all the aspects of the photography jobs that you want to take and that show exactly the photographer that you want to be. You cannot rely only on the previous paid jobs to build your portfolio. You cannot go to a watch company and say, but you see, I can shoot uh, makeup products, I can shoot uh, food, so more or less it's the same. No, it doesn't work. Take 10 watches, open them, shoot the movement and the gears, try focus stacking, break them into pieces and shoot them in a new creative way that you've never seen before. The reason number two is that you have too much enthusiasm. It's okay to like a project, Obviously, you cannot go to a client and look to, like arrogant, bored, like what am I even doing here, of course. But also don't be like a kid in a candy store or like if your life is about to change. Even when you land projects that you really like, big brands, famous people, worldwide coverage, big money, you still have to play it cool and not get carried away by emotions. Unfortunately, when you are enthusiastic, often you are seen as weak or as desperate. If you are on a date with a girl and you say, oh my God, I'm so happy to be here. This was my dream since the first time that I saw you. She will not think, oh yes, it's good to be appreciated. She will think that you're desperate, that maybe you don't get so many dates and you will instantly become the less interesting person in the room. What's a possible solution? Don't see every single job as a life-changing event. A $50,000 shoot will not change your life. Shooting Taylor Swift will not change your life. But a constant flow of well-paid jobs and good clients will do. So try to see each job as a single brick, not as the full castle. Build on that, market yourself from that, grow from that, learn, but don't think that one single job can be your Willy Wonka golden ticket. Do -ba the third reason why clients don't respect you is because you accept rudeness. Another reason why it's important to have a strong portfolio and create a constant flow of good clients is because it gives you the freedom to say no. Accepting rudeness from clients damages you in three ways. First, you enter in a mindset in which you think that you don't deserve respect and that it's okay to bow down for money. Second, you think that you're not a good photographer, otherwise the client will respect you. Third, if you're a creative and you work with the low self-esteem and bad mood, your work will be negatively affected and you will end up doing a really bad job. What's the solution? Set your boundaries. Be ready to leave the table if the interaction is not respectful. When you're willing to leave the table, your counterpart will get the message and will tone the rudeness down. Don't be afraid of standing up for yourself because people respect those who respect themselves. And if you don't respect yourself enough to demand politeness, surely your client will not do it. And if it's still not working, it's not the end of the world. One less client will not matter in a week's time, but the boost in your self-esteem will last. The fourth reason why clients don't respect you is because you share too much personal life. Speaking of sharing too much personal life, in 2017, I was having a great year, great life, Hugo Boss hired me to shoot Zac Efron. I was doing all these high-end clients. Then out of the blue, at least for me, my ex-wife told me that she didn't love me anymore and she wanted to divorce. I know, it doesn't make sense. I mean, look at me. A few days later, when all this was still happening, I got contacted by a scammy agent that promised me the world. Big shootings, traveling, high-end clients, big money. We had a lot of meetings, a lot of coffees together. We went to places together. We were having a sort of friendly relationship. So I started to open up a little bit and tell him about my personal life, how I was feeling, that I was looking forward to starting uh, this new adventure because it would have distracted me and cheered me up. The guy started calling me bro, that it's a big red flag. He started to say that he understands me and all this bullshit. Long story short, he took advantage of my emotional state 
to get the details of all my high-end clients. He made me sign a deal to be exclusively represented by him in a way that even if I was taking jobs by myself, I still had to give him a percentage of that. And he contacted behind my back all my clients, especially those who already booked a shooting with me before I met him. And he told them that I authorized him to write them and say that now my price was doubled plus 25% agency fee for him. I lost almost all of my clients and I didn't get a shooting for six months, reaching the point that I didn't even have the money to pay the rent. And also if I just wanted to run away from Dubai, I didn't have the money to buy a plane ticket. Luckily, a few days before Christmas, I got contacted by a big, big brand that booked some shootings with me and paid me in advance. I basically got saved by the bell. But this happens when you share too much of your personal life. Clients and agents will know exactly how to play you and how to take advantage of you. In this case, what's the solution? Understand that clients are not your friends, unless they become friends after months and years of a great relationship, common interest and fairness in all things regarding the work. Don't lay all your cards on the table and hoping that somehow your opponent will not take advantage of this. The fifth reason why clients don't respect you is because you give too much too soon. This might be linked to enthusiasm, but sometimes we can be tempted to reveal too much to a client when we are still in the negotiation phase, in a sort of attempt of uh, overselling ourselves. This is a trap in which is very easy to fall, but really screams need. I will give you two examples. The first one, I went on a meeting with a company that needed pictures for an app that they were developing. They asked me how I was planning to conduct the shoot, also logistically, if I had any particular studios in mind, if I could provide the models, the makeup artists, how to coordinate everything and all this stuff. I should have said, yes, don't worry, I will send you a proposal with some basic info, down payment 25%, and I will start the scouting and organizing part. But instead, I completely emptied the bag on the table. I gave the name of two or three studios that had good prices, makeup artist, name and Instagram profile of the best models that I knew, suggestion on how to organize the shoot, how to divide it in categories, all the workflow. Moral of the story, they ended up doing everything with a cheap photographer using most of my suggestions. I basically gave them a free consultancy and in the end they didn't need me anymore because I taught them exactly how to bypass me. And since they didn't really care about the quality of the picture but they needed a lot, a lot of pictures, any cheap photographer could have done the job. Second example, a friend of mine, a creative, spent more or less three weeks, day and night, coming up with the creativity for an advertising campaign. He prepared everything, the message, the strategy, the communication, and all this just to pitch for the job. A job that he really needed because at the time he was really struggling financially. The client understood the situation. They made him dance for three weeks straight, always asking for more and more. He finally submitted the campaign, and guess what? Exactly they executed without him. What can be the solution here? Before revealing too much, try to draft a contract. Make the client sign an NDA. Don't show that you have time to waste for free consultancies. Show that you are polite, but you're also a busy person and you are firm. I know it might sound frightening at first, but you get much more respect when you treat a job in a professional way. Do you think that the big successful businessmen, they move a finger without contracts, without signatures, without deposits? No. Do you remember Jerry Maguire, the movie? There was a guy that promised Tom Cruise that was a sport agent, that he would have let him represent the athlete's son, but didn't want to sign any contract because... Uh, My word is stronger, stronger than look. Turned out, it wasn't. Don't drop your pants for a possible client. Protect yourself with a contract and a down payment. The sixth reason why clients don't respect you is because you already accepted unfavorable conditions. It can happen. A new client, you really want a job. It can be good exposure for you. You will meet uh, uh, famous people. You will get in touch with big brands. So you decide to accept the peanuts that they throw on the floor. Et voila, you just became a monkey. From now on, you will be called only when there is no budget or for minor projects that they don't really care about. But they will keep promising you the big and well-paid jobs. Then, of course, <laughs> these jobs will be passed to a well-established photographer that didn't accept the peanuts or that he wasn't even offered the peanuts in the first place. Unfortunately, this problem became more and more common during COVID. We all had to accept uh, shootings at ridiculous prices because COVID. But then when COVID ended, this company kept on offering the same peanuts. What's the solution? Unfortunately, there is not really a solution for this, but there is prevention. Don't be stupid with your money when times are good, so you will not need to accept disqualifying offers when times are bad. And if you have your reasons to accept bad conditions because the kids must eat, 
Do it, of course, but then start looking for other clients straight away because this from now on will never pay you the right amount. The seventh reason why clients don't respect you is because your interactions are fake. Don't you hate when wedding photographers meet the couple and instead of going through the brief and the expectation for the shooting, they start with that fake, oh, sit down, I want to know everything about how you met, how you fell in love, when you started feeling the butterflies. I really want to have a deep connection with the future Mr. and Mrs. and I want to share with you this magical moment. Shut the f up, you are a supplier. Miss me with that, I want to be your bestie bull. 99% of the clients see perfectly through this and they will hate you forever and never recommend you to anyone else and rightfully so. What's the solution in this case? Have honest interactions. Don't be a suck up. Don't pretend that you want to be besties. Don't vomit 3000 compliments for everything that the possible client says or does. If you treat a client like a celebrity, he will treat you like a fan. Send the love letters to the loved people in your life not to the client's wallet. In this last part, I want to give you some thoughts that are not in a specific order, but maybe they can get you to a place where it will be easier for you to demand respect. Respect is earned, like the t-shirts of the roided out guys in the gym. So be polite and respectful when you meet a new client. Don't be assuming and arrogant. You can never know where the next good business can come from. Respect is transitive. If you get introduced to a possible client by a non-respected person, you also will not be respected. Try to get your referrals from liked and respected people. Be good at your work and be good with the money that you make. If you make a $20,000 shoot, that money doesn't mean that now you're a baller and you have to spend them all in Gucci belts and bottles in the club. These $20,000 are your power to say no thanks. Network as much as you can. Join networking events and groups. Join a sports club. Be around people. Be active on social media. Show your work. Let as many people as possible know that you exist. You have no idea of how many shootings I got because I met someone one year before. Negotiate and conduct the job like if you were representing someone else. Be passionate about your job, but don't let the emotions drive you. Try to be a little bit calm and moderate. And I know that this is difficult, trust me. Because I'm Italian, I cannot stay calm. With clients, never fall for the bro trap, for the my friend trap, and for the sweet eyes trap. Never, never with clients. Remember that you are the only person that allow clients to disrespect you. If you don't allow them, they will not do it. Okay, I'm done. Let me know what you think. Bye.